Today we are making a video on Ubuntu 23.10 which is Mantic Minitor. So this is a development, ver uh, development version or the daily build. So here is the boot menu. Let's uh, try to boot in a live boot. So the live builds were uh, or the daily builds uh, were released like uh, two days ago or posted like uh, two days ago. So he here is the development version of uh, Ubuntu 23.10 and the code name is a Mantic Minitor. And you should take like a maximum of a one minute or a minimum of a 20 to 30 seconds so it's a, a development version maybe it should take a lot of time i don't know properly you can't expect a exact timing in the development version or the beta version or the pre-release whatever you call it so again lunar lobster was released like a 15 days ago almost uh, everything should be same as the lunar lobster in the mantic minitor 2 so let's uh, explore and find out what's new or if it's same so we need to wait for the beta version and the stable version so for my curiosity i downloaded this thing and for your education purpose i'm making this content and i already promised that i will be uh, making uh, the content as soon as the latest news or the latest iso files are released whether it's a beta version stable version or the daily builds pre-release whatever it is i'll be making a content on it i promised it and i'm making a content on it and I'm running it as a virtualization which is a VMware with 80 GB of hard disk, 4 GB of RAM and 2 processors. And I forgot to mention that I'll be posting two videos daily without missing any day. So I already posted a video on the YouTube. If you want to check that out, you can check that out after watching this video. So it should take a few more seconds and we should be having our desktop layout completely loaded. And here is our mouse pointer. It's development version, but it's working properly. That's a good news. It's working uh, good for me. Uh, it should be different for you because it's a development version. I can't uh, exactly say how it works for you because no one can say exactly what happens with the development version, beta version or the alpha version or the development version, whatever you call it. So here is the desktop layout. Let me change the uh, some of the settings like a display settings all these things and lunar lobster has the uh, latest installer only the ubuntu version has the latest installer none of the uh, other ubuntu flavors have any installer latest installer they still have with the uh, old installer uh, that's pretty odd and that's pretty boring for the uh, for you to have the old installer uh, only the ubuntu has the latest installer that's uh, pretty bad because the latest installer is pretty fast and uh, look wise is pretty awesome too. We should be waiting for a few more seconds and we should be having. And that's the sound of the Ubuntu Mantic Minitor. So first you need to choose your language. Click on next. And it will give you the option to choose the install Ubuntu or try Ubuntu. So again I'm warning you this is a development version. Uh, even if you download the stable version of any Linux distro, it's always a good option to uh, try it in a live boot because if you find any bugs or errors, it's going to ruin your PC if you install directly after downloading. So it's always a good option to boot it in a live boot and use it for good uh, hours like a 2 to 3 hours. And if you satisfied with the live boot, go with the installation later. So again, don't save anything in the live boot because as soon as you reboot or uh, restart the uh, live boot it's going to completely erase everything so remember that too just use it uh, like a, a live boot linux distro don't uh, download anything or save it anything in the live boot so again that's the tip or the opinion from the uh, my channel so this is the option you get install or ubuntu try ubuntu so if you want to test it on your own you can test it on the virtualization as virtualization and uh, use it on a virtual box or a vmware whatever you have don't try to use it on the uh, main PC or a work PC because I don't know there should be some bugs and which uh, it should ruin your PC. I don't want you to ruin your PC. That's the reason I'm warning you again and again. So let's quickly uh, live boot it by clicking on try Ubuntu. And let's change the display settings first because it looks pretty odd right now. Uh, my monitor is like a 1920 into 1080 with a 16 is to 9 ratio let's uh, change that resolution 
keep changes if you can't see the uh, text size or the icon size or the font size properly you can change the scaling up to 200 percent you have like a fractional scaling also uh, the good option or the good setting for the 1920 into 1080 monitors is like a 150% or a 120% of a fractional scaling. That should be a best option. That's my opinion. It's clearly up to you to choose uh, anything uh, in the fractional scaling or the global scaling like this. Let's check the about the Linux distro. I'm running it as a live boot, So it says device name as a Ubuntu and I'm using a 4 GB of RAM. I already mentioned as for the VMware and this is my cpu or the processor and disk i used 80 gb of hard disk but it always says as 85.9 gb for some reason and the operating system name it says ubuntu mantic miniature development branch it's a development branch so be careful while testing it so it's a 64-bit architecture and GNOME version is not available right now and uh, you can expect the version should be like a 44.3 or 4 because that's the latest version which is available in the Lunar Lobster also and everything is same like a Lunar Lobster because it's still a few days ago it was released uh, Lunar Lobster so you should expect everything same and we should be seeing some of the changes in the coming days so just for the curiosity I downloaded and making content so I already made almost uh, every flavor of uh, Ubuntu of a Mantic Minotaur if you want to check that out you can check that out in my channel they should be available in a like a few hours I already posted some content if you want to check that out you can check that out so let's check out first let's check out the system monitor and let's come back to the uh, settings all the things and some of the features so we need to check the resources first uh, and see how much of resources are consuming in the development branch and let me change the color let me change it to green so you can properly see it and you should be seeing a high graph in the beginning of the video so that's pretty common in all Linux distro you need to run like a 1 minute or a 60 seconds to get the exact graph of the CPU and the RAM the RAM consumption is like a 1.3 GB right now so you already know Ubuntu is not a lightweight Linux distro. It should be, uh, uh, it comes under like a midweight or the heavyweight sometimes. So here are all the resources. Ignore the network. You don't need to worry about the network. Just uh, care about the CPU and the RAM. Swap is not available right now. RAM and the CPU is, uh, CPU is pretty stable. Just uh, a high peak here and there occasionally not constantly so we ran almost like a one minute so the cpu is around like a below 25 percent that's pretty good even if it's a development branch it's still working good it's working good for me but i don't know how it works for you because it's completely different and the iso file will be uh, changed daily so it's clearly uh, different for everyone and there is some like a two disk here 370 MB and the one GB of volume here so let's try to ignore it and the terminal version is a uh, 3.48.0 and the for GNOME 44 you already know the latest version of the GNOME 44 uh, GNOME desktop on my uh, environment is a 44 let's go to the preference and change the theme to light Let's go to preference again and uh, change the color to white here. Gnome light. Let's type in inxi-sv8. This is the command which will grab the complete distro information. I don't think it's available right now because you need to update some of the packages and apps here. By typing the sudo apt install and uh, sudo app apt uh, upgrade like all that's comment. You, you already know that. I don't need to explain that all the things so already saw that so let's type in the command which is cat etc issue so it says ubuntu mantic miniature development branch I already mentioned or showed it so no need to show that hstop is also not found it says sudo apt install hstop but if you uh, copy it it's not available you need to update some of the packages, I guess. 
Wait, it's working. I don't know. Yes, it's working. Maybe we should be getting a hash stop installed. It should be installed in a few seconds, like a seven to eight seconds, I guess. And hash stop is here. RAM is almost a 947 MB. Here are the CPUs. Task are 113. So let's close it. And let me show you the installer. And you have the same installer as the Luna Lobster. And that's the sound from the Ubuntu. First, you need to choose your language. Keyboard variant. You can do that. That's the same installation process. So no need to uh, show everything. So internet connection. And these are all the uh, other options. It's always a good option to choose uh, check these buttons. If you want minimal installation or normal installation. Under normal installation, you get every apps, uh, games, uh, players, all these things. And in the minimal installation, you get just a web browser, text editor, and some of the uh, normal installer applications like a calculator like that. You get, you'll get a basic uh, uh, in the minimal installation and you'll get normal installation everything so you already know that and uh, these are all the same uh, installation styles from the older version so no need to show everything so click on next in the previous version like uh, 22 uh, uh, and the previous version like a uh, 21 the, it was taking like a, it was giving like a preparing Ubuntu drivers and it's going to take like a, almost 30 seconds but in the new installer you just get uh, instantly and this is the installation style if you want to delete the current uh, operating system and delete everything in the hard disk or the installation destination what you choose it's going to delete it and it's going to install the Ubuntu in it so be careful while choosing this option you need to be having an idea and you need to be having an information of what you're doing in the partitions so this is the dual booting and this is the single boot options so if you want to click on advanced uh, features you can encrypt the system by clicking on like this i don't want to use the encryption so i'm just clicking on next and here is uh, everything ready to install after clicking on install it's going to take like a few seconds you need to provide like a username passwords and after that it's going to be taking like a maximum of uh, 20 minutes or minimum like uh, 8 to 5 minutes it depends on the uh, system and it depends on the linux distro and you should be installed a uh, mantic miniature in uh, whatever the installation destination you choose uh, if you choose the vmware it should be installed on your vmware virtual box like that uh, if you just choose the live boot, you can choose it live boot. Don't try to install it on your work PC or a main PC because it's a still a development version. So it will be a, a good option to choose it as a, a, like a unused PC or the uh, virtualization. Don't use it on the main PC or work PC. So it's going to ruin your PC if they had bugs like that. So it's better option to stay away from that. You only if you want to test it, you can test it like a virtual box or a VMware or you can try it in the live boot. So that's the installation process. So let's check out the pre-installed apps which comes with the Mantic Minitor. Almost everything same as the Lunar Lobster, nothing changed here. So let's quickly open some of the important apps and uh, open the system monitor and end the video because we don't have anything uh, new here so let's open some of the just a few apps and end the video so there is nothing change here we don't have anything here and I don't find any software center or software manager here that's pretty weird here is the software center which is Ubuntu software so let's quickly check the versions 44 and you should be expecting the version will be same like a lunar lobster so there is nothing change i promise that i will be posting uh, as soon as the iso file is released whatever the iso file is uh, whether it's a stable version beta version development version pre-release whatever it is 
I'll be posting a content on it. So that's the promise I made and uh, here is the content. Just for the curiosity I downloaded and making a video on the daily builds of the Mantic Minotaur 23.10. So let's go to the disk drives, devices and location. So this is the version. I think we covered everything. So let's wait for the uh, software manager uh, to load up and uh, end the video because we covered everything. So CPU and RAM is almost here. Memory is 1.7 GB. CPU is also going a bit of crazy in the beginning. Network is also working. So these are all the resources. So I think there is nothing change in the software catalog too. So it's no need to worry about that. So these are all the same as the Luna Lobster. And let's go to the system settings and end the video because we covered everything. And don't expect anything uh, new in this because it's still in a, a development version and uh, the Lunar Lobster was released like a few days ago so everything will be same. There will be change in the coming days and uh, I'll be posting that. Uh, if anything is changed I'll be making a video so no need to worry. You just need to subscribe to my channel. That's the only thing. If you only want to subscribe you can subscribe it's clearly up to you. So here is the appearance. I don't think there is a new wallpaper I guess it should be coming in the new uh, or the incoming uh, in the future I guess so these are all the same things as the uh, lunar lobster so privacy online account sharing sound power display mouse pad and touchpad keyboard so everything is uh, same like the lunar lobster which has a gnome desktop 44 so there is nothing change here you can change the username if you want Here is the username that's the end of the video I guess so again thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps make a good content for you other than that I'll see you in tomorrow's video peace out I already made another content if you want to check that out you can check that out because I'll be posting two videos daily that's the reason I mentioned it again so again thanks for watching peace out